Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to the next episode in the series, the next episode in this little mini-series about MVVM architecture. In the last episode we went ahead and just created some files, talked about some more things uh, about how they're going to interact. So if you've missed any of that so far, I'd suggest just going back and getting caught up to speed so that you know, um, you know, so, so that what we're about to do makes a little bit more sense for you. Uh, and so then without further ado, we're just going to pick up from where we left off. So we've created our view model. We have it, well, Here's the view model. We've created the class. We've actually created, uh, or now we have a view model inside of our activity. And then uh, inside the view model, we have our repository here, which is this class, which um, is empty at the moment. So again, as you can see, this is a private uh, variable, meaning that the attractions view model is the only inside this class is the only way that we can access the repository and we want to maintain that separation of concerns and abide by this principle here you see the activity or fragment does not have direct communication to the repository or any of these deeper layers inside the architecture it only has the ability to uh, interact with the view model but the view model has the ability to interact with the repository so we're going to start to see how the view layer interacts with the view model which then interacts with the repository and then from there it'll do whatever it needs to to actually you know fetch the data or, or whatever the case is so uh, we're gonna see this chaining of effects and how it ends up uh, working out in our favor so uh, currently we have our attractions list as the the single source of truth for our data for the entire application which is fine we're gonna keep it that way but um, we're just gonna move it to a little bit better of, of, uh, of a pattern so we can see here that there's the parse attractions function that gets invoked the first time we access this attractions list variable. And now the first time we access this is actually inside the home fragment when we're loading up the, when the fragment has been loaded. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and actually do that, I guess, ahead of time or, or I guess a, a, in a different ordering, if you will. So instead of actually in the view model here, um, which you can think of as like the layer that has all your business logic and eventually controls your repository, you can uh, think of the repository as the go-getter, right? The thing that does something. Um, so as the user does something at the view layer, they we capture that interaction and we notify the view model of it and then the view model has its own logic that runs and says okay well at this point we need our data or we need to update our data or we need new data or different data or whatever the case is and then that is all done through the repository layer so the idea here is that once you define a function inside this repository whether it's fetching something from a file whether it's fetching something from an onboard database or whether it's fetching something from a network call, the view model itself doesn't care about how the repository does its job. It just knows, hey, when I call parse attractions, I'm supposed to get a list of attractions back and we should be good. If it, again, in, no matter how it gets it, it the, the other areas of the app don't really care about it they just need you know they just have a certain dependency that says we need to get a list of attractions so give me a function that can do that and then it's your job as the repository to go ahead and do that as you see fit so we copy and pasted our activity code which is actually missing um, the we we don't have our moshi instance nor do we have our uh, our, our context that is required so we're just going to actually, uh, let's see about the, so we can just very quickly add context.resources and then, yeah, so this is a pretty basic Moshi instance. It's only being used in this one place. So for right now, we can actually just copy and paste this entire thing. And now we have our Moshi instance in our repository. Um, and now our function works as expected, right? So we are still parsing the attractions, we're getting it from the file, uh, and uh, this function now just has a dependency on context because inside the activity there's an inherent context that exists. So we just need to pass that along. Yeah, I guess for now we'll leave it like that. Um, I, don't, I don't personally like the idea of passing a context all the way to the repository layer, but for this case I think it makes sense and I think it's fine because we have to access the um, well, yeah, we're just going to leave it for now, um, and you know we'll, we'll 
maybe clean that up at some later date. But for now, I just want to talk about the, uh, the different components um, and really just emphasize what they're supposed to do here. So why don't we go ahead and just clean up our activity while we're at it. So we're just going to go ahead and remove a whole bunch of stuff here um, and that we no longer need because we want to consolidate things down to just the view model. And uh, this is also going to freak out one of our base layers, but that's okay um, because we no longer have this uh, attractions list at the activity level, which is, I guess, a little bit annoying, but uh, we will clean that up in, uh, in, in, in due time. But what I want you to realize here about the repository is that this class's function or any of the other functions that you create here have one job and one job only and that is to you know given some particular input in this case it's going to be the context you need to supply outward to whoever's calling it uh, the data that is required so the repository is all about data management data uh, gathering fetching network requests in this case uh, database operations in this case and then in our case if you could imagine like another arrow down here and another little box here that you know says um, I don't know you know like uh, onboard JSON file or, or uh, something along those lines a little dummy data really is what we end up having uh, but point being is that we're extracting this logic we're extracting this information away from the view model from the activity which is considered the view layer right so it's just a better practice because the activity or eventually the fragments shouldn't have to care about how to parse something or or what uh you know what the where the data is coming from instead we're going to leave that to somebody else in this case it's going to be the repository and all we're going to say is that you know at the view layer all we care about is getting a list of attractions so at some point i need to have a list of attractions there and how do we get it to that point well that would be you know via the repository the view model following this mvvm pattern so um, hopefully this is starting to make sense i'm not sure uh, how not exactly sure how people are feeling about this in the sense that like you know it's it's becoming second nature to me but maybe it's extremely confusing to others so please if you're lost uh, go ahead and just drop a comment down we can have a discussion about it or, or you know answer some questions in uh, in a future video but um, just sit tight I'd say stay with it, stay on course, because once we start implementing the view model and the activity, uh, things will just start to blend together. Things will start to come together and make a little bit more sense. So I will catch you in, um, in the next one, where we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about the, the view model class and how we're actually going to connect these two together. And then eventually we'll get it out to the, uh, the, the view layer. So I'll see you then.